What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to the Diablo 4 Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Deck. Appreciate you guys to come by, like this video if you will, subscribe to the page, and swap that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below, and may your contributions be brought back to you sevenfold. Condolences of the Creator. So, in my last video, I ruffled some feathers, alright? I speculated, what if the big gaming companies out there, including Blizzard, Blizzard, Activision, BioWare, wherever the hell they are, Bethesda, EA Sports, and all that other crap, what if they're like just one big conglomerate now where they're almost intentionally making their games suck to where they're not on par with what games used to be with the sort of retention demand, the chase, the endless chase that spikes our dopamine and all that shit. What if they're intentionally making the games bad so that we just keep going from one game to another game to a new game to a new game to a new game just to keep buying new games and shit, you know what I mean? With just always that anticipation, like, you know, the trailers are always just so impressive. With the trailers, there's just explosions and like those sound effects, the you know, like the music. Yeah, they don't really have hot bitches anymore, though, do they? It's crazy. They need, I mean, they should at least have the hot bitches in the trailers. Obviously, they're not in the games anymore because they got to be woke. They're all man and men. But nonetheless, I just couldn't help but wonder if that's what's going on here. And of course, what got me down that path is just some of the things that they're doing in Diablo 4. Now, I don't think it's that bad, all right? In fact, I intend to jump on season six is that coming up before the season six is when the expansion comes out isn't it i intend to get the expansion and play and i think it's going to be just as good of a time as season five was for the most part my main criticism was on one hand i think it's a good idea that ancestrals are going to be a lot more rare right but every time they say something's going to be really rare what happens is after a patch or two it's just abundant as fuck because they're like, oh, we can't find it. Oh, I don't have my whole character decked out with ancestral gear now. And then Blizzard inclines their ear. They're like, oh, okay, the toddlers want all their gear to be ancestral, like, right away. So I got a good idea. Let's just make it fall from the fucking sky continually like rain. And it's raining all the time. You see what I'm saying? Where that, mm, I can't help but speculate that that's what they're going to fucking do. So when you guys tell me Iceman... You're bitching about it too much, Iceman. They're going to be rare. Oh, yeah, fucking bullshit. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, just like how the Sunder Charms are going to be rare, huh? Oh, right, they're going to be worth jaw runes. They're going to be worth an infinity. They're going to be worth an enigma plus. Yeah, fucking bullshit. I called that day one. I called that fucking bullshit day one. Yeah, them Sunder Charms, they drop from the fucking sky like toads. And all the shit's everywhere. People leave them in the games. They're so abundant. All right. They're not even worth like a hell rune for God's sake. Yeah. But I mean, you guys see where I'm going with this? And wait, where am I going with this? No, just kidding. I know where I'm going with this. That's what I was going on about on my last video. And yeah, it ruffled some fucking feathers. But. With that being said, I like the idea how the Ancestrals are going to be rare. The biggest problem was, and yeah, maybe they are going to be abundant again, but the biggest problem is, why are you going to guarantee a fucking star in every item? The stars were the chase. It was exciting finding one with a goddamn star, a greater affix. And it was even more if there were three. You know, if there were one, it was really exciting. If there were two, it was really, really exciting. If there were three, it was really, really, really exciting to find the items with the greater affixes. And now you're telling me that they're all going to fall with at least one? The fuck? 
Okay, so we're literally cutting to the chase here. In a game that's all about chase. Okay, in a treasure hunting game, you're just gonna... All the sooner give us the fucking treasure. Okay, bad idea. All right, bad idea. Research Institution 101 uh, from the Iceman. Professor says, all right, bad fucking idea. Research Institution 101. Don't give everyone a fucking star. You know, I want to I say a bad word right now. I want to call you a bad dame. Whoever the fuck came up with that idea. But you know what? I'm going to resist. All right, I'm going to leave that where it is. But I mean, where it's heading right now, yeah, I'm going to get the expansion. And yeah, I'm going to play the Necromancer. I don't really like that hippie shit, that Spiritborn class or whatever with the animals and the, all the spells and all that weird shit going on. And they're not attractive, of course. God damn. Can we have a couple attractive broads in this fucking game? I mean, they're all garbed up and grizzled and masculine, chisel-ass fucking chin, chisel-ass fucking eyebrow ridge, all that shit. Bad finger digit ratio. You know, I mean, where the hell are the broads at? It's fucking crazy. But yeah, okay, the spirit born, it's just, it doesn't interest me. But let me know in the comments if the spirit born interests you or you can be playing the spirit born. But we live in a day where now Path of Exile 2 is kind of right around the corner. I just saw a gameplay trailer of a new one that they released just yesterday, I think. The game looks awesome. POE 1, I played it. I didn't beat the campaign. I got to like Act 4 or 5 with the archer chick, with the butch haircut and all that. But whatever, it's fine. It's uh, It was okay. And uh, the itemization, yeah, it was a bit overwhelming. And I think that POE 2 is going to take it a step or two back in terms of the overwhelmingness. Going to be a bit more slow paced, and I like that. I think it's going to feel more like the original Diablo and stuff like that than, than, it, than it would like Path of Exile. But what really bothered me about POE 1 is the characters, they run like upright like this. Like they're like this. Like, it, just, it just does, it's not immersive. It's like, what? It's like... It's like they're a little 2D image on a 3D world, and they're, they're, they're running like upright, like all of them. Now, I'm not saying I want them to take it to the extent of the rogue in Diablo 4, where she's like this, like the hunchback in Notre Dame and shit, you know, just, just, just doing this the whole fucking time. It just makes your back fucking ache playing that character, no. But PoE 2, they, they got it right, where now there's more, you know, they're, they're raw, they, they look a lot better when they move now. And I look, and, and I look, and I, and I, I've seen them, and I've seen the, the wizard, the mage, and hip, 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 ha, ha, and the little sound effects. Ha, ha, ha. You guys know what I'm saying? It looks good, and it sounds good. It seems immersive. I mean, the game, the skills, the, I was watching the summoner, just all the customization on your summons, it's just unbelievable. Like, Diablo Force customization is like, here's the bottom, and the customization for your summons is like here, Path of Exile 2 already, before it's even released, it's like way up here. Like all these little modifications you can make to your summons. It's just crazy. All right, but we live in a day where this shit's right around the corner, man. And I mean, are you guys going to be playing that? PoE 2? Or what do you think about Diablo 4 and its current iteration? Are we on a bridge too far to cross here? Or is this going to be a good time? Is this the best it's been yet? Or are they taking a step back? You know, I mean, the everyone getting a star thing just doesn't really interest me. All right. But I'm still going to play and we're going to see how it goes. I'll be making some videos on my Necromancer. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. But nonetheless, comment below your thoughts on these matters. Like this video, if you will. Become a patron if you want to support the meditations. And I will see you all tomorrow. Peace be with you.